Welcome back to another episode of The Shack Show. In this episode of The Shack Show, I'm going to talk about Van Stahl Reels. I've been kind of wanting to do this video for a little while now, and uh, I've not known the best way to uh, do this because I didn't really want to get super technical into reels themselves and like gears and bearings and drag pressure and all sorts of different stuff like that. Uh, and I've done other separate videos where I've tested drag pressure and everything like that about these reels. But I wanted to do a video that was more specifically, should you buy a Vanstall or should you not buy a Vanstall? Is a Vanstall for you? And the reason I wanted to do this video is because I've seen other videos out there on YouTube about people talking about this reel in particular. I've seen no videos from guys that are actually surf casters from the East Coast that fish for striped bass. Uh, a lot of the videos out there, and maybe there are some now, but when I saw those videos, I'm sure there are a few, but the videos that I saw were all guys from Florida who have are probably good fishermen and fish fare differently from the way I fish, and uh, probably not in a way that these reels are really meant to be fished. So when they're talking about it, they're like comparing these reels to something that is, it is different from what these reels are built to do. They're comparing these reels to something, to another reel, but something that I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put them in the same class of uh, fishing equipment, if that even makes sense. And the reason I'm saying that is these are not built for uh, performance when it comes to really like, I, I would say like high performance fishing. So fishing where you need really smooth drag and you need like, you need a lot of drag pressure. And a lot of people that fish in Florida, well, this reel is an awesome reel and perfect for a lot of fish that you catch in Florida if you're surf casting. In fact, like all fish that you can catch from the surf, the Van Stahl, if you're surf casting in Florida, like really surf casting in Florida, these are the reels to do it with because they are built like a tank. And uh, just a little backstory on me first, because again, I didn't know the best way to kind of do this video, but I want, well, I want you guys to be informed like, I am like what I would consider to be like a pretty average uh, hardcore surf caster. Uh, and what I mean by average is like a hardcore surf caster is going to fish a ton of days a season, is going to like push their gear to the limit every season and really uh, fish everything hard and wants gear that's going to perform for them. So whether that be a rod or clothing or a shoe or a reel for our example here, uh, we want everything to perform to the best of their ability. So backstory on me, I am a surf casting guide from Cape Ann, which is north of Boston, Massachusetts, and I fish for striped bass primarily. Um, and I, I do a lot of guided trips this season. I also fish pretty much every single day in the season, if not every single day of the season. And I'm fishing easily 180 days a season in the surf, uh, I fish probably my Vansall reels. I have three of them here and I fish them all at different times of the year, but I could fish one of these reels for 180 days, which I did. I actually started out with the Vansall VSX 200 and I fished that for, I don't even know, four or five years straight, just this reel itself. And, uh, I fished 180 days a season, most of the time fishing twice a day, up to six hours at a time, about six hours at a time for two times a day. So if you put that into perspective, that is a ridiculous amount of hours on the water, ridiculous amount of hours of this being submerged. And uh, there's a reason why these reels, I believe are almost a different class of equipment. Um, and the reason I keep saying a different class of equipment is these reels are just bare bones, very, very productive reels. And what I mean by that is you can rely on them with your life. And what I'm trying to catch, like, especially now with the way that the fishery is, there's not a whole lot of opportunities you'll get in the season to really catch a really big fish. And having your gear break on you is the worst thing that could ever happen. I've had it happen to me with pen reels. I've had it happen to me with uh, tsunami reels. I've had it happen to me with Shimano reels where like you're fishing, you hook up on a fish, the drag is screaming, all of a sudden the drag locks up and the line breaks. Or all of a sudden your reel literally snaps off of it. I've had one time in my life the drag burn out on a van stall and I didn't get service the year before or that winter before the season and it was in the fall of that season. So that was pretty much two full seasons 
of fishing this reel very, very hard in the salt conditions. And I finally, finally, finally had something break in a van stall. It took a while, but I was able to do it. And it was this past season, I was fishing in some really hairy conditions and I needed to put a lot of drag on the fish. And I hooked a really, really big bass. It took me like on a wild ride in some big surf conditions. So not only am I fighting the fish, the weight of the fish, I'm fighting all of that and like a wave sucking back out. So it just put extra strain on the reel and it was enough to break the drag. But I still was able to land that fish with this drag and even though it broke on me. So it shows you that like, even though I was able to finally push a reel to its limit, one of these van stalls, these van stalls are some of the most hardy reels I've ever fished with. I think that if you are a hardcore surf caster and you fish a few times, and like, and what I think say about that is like, for, because we're a very seasonal fishery, especially where I'm at, it's much shorter than like even New York, for example. But where I'm at, we have a, it's a very, it's a much shorter season. If you fish probably, I would say three times a day for every week of the season, two or three times, uh, or three times a day, two or three times a week for every uh, week of the season or day for every, wow. Here we are, we're back, we're back. If, we, if you fish two or three times a week, every week of the season, your reel like needs to be something that is going to be bulletproof. And what I mean by that is you're putting in the time and the effort and your time, your effort to target really like elusive fish and in the striped bass or in other species. I mean, this could go for you in Florida as well if you're targeting fish in Florida, but this is even more so for people that are fishing on the, the Northeast where you're gonna not have too many opportunities at a big fish because it's very seasonal. And uh, when you do, you don't want your gear to fail on you. And that's why to me, it's worth every penny because I want my gear for me, for my clients to not break when I'm fishing with them. And uh, there's nothing worse, especially as a guy, giving someone a reel and then having it break on them and them losing a fish because of that. Because they did everything correctly and they hooked that fish, they were fighting that fish perfectly fine and then my gear breaks on them. There's nothing worse to me. So I believe that these reels are some of the greatest reels ever created when it comes to very, very reliable bulletproof reels. There's no other reel that's in the same class. It's almost its own class of reel. There's other reels that have tried and failed miserably at trying to be a competitor to a van stall. For instance, the new Tsunami Salt X. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, I love the Tsunami Salt X, you know, and from, I, I literally have fished with two brand new ones and they broke in the first two times I fished with them. So I test a lot of different equipment. I've tested Tsunami reels, I've tested Penn reels, I've tested Shimano reels. Penn and Shimano have fantastic reels. I've had a, many more issues with Tsunami reels. I really felt like that Tsunami reel that came out, that Salt X, was gonna be something that was going to test and push uh, Van Stahl with like price and also with like durability of the reel. That was gonna be awesome because it would ha we would force Van Stahl to probably make a reel that was a little bit cheaper, which would have been pretty sweet. Anyway, the Salt X, where there's a lot of really good things about that reel that I loved, they, I believe, put it out too soon. I think there's still issues with that reel when they put it out. And uh, I don't think it did very well, uh, especially when you have stuff like the clicker, the drag clicker on that, that would break very, very quickly and often. Uh, the gears on the inside coming loose, like just randomly uh, when you're fighting a fish. Uh, stuff like that I've had issues with on uh, the Saltex reels. I keep pointing over there because I have one sitting on a rod over there. So I do use them, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like they're a nice, cheap, fairly durable reel for surcasting, but there's there's two different classes of reel out there. There's like high performance reels that you need for fishing for like pelagic fish from a boat that you really want to have smooth drag and a lot of it. And then you have reels like this, which are just hard workhorses that if you're gonna, if you wanna seriously surfcast and you wanna invest a lot of time into it, 
I don't think that there's any other reel that is even in the realm of this reel for durability. Um, and it just is a very solid, solid built reel. And uh, the great thing about it too, is a lot of what we do surf casting, and this is where I get into like, I, this reel almost feels like it's built for the surf caster, is for obviously the 275, there's more line pickup than there is in the 150, but still relative to other reels of this size, it's not that much. I, I'm not exactly sure the specs on how much line that it has on its line pickup, but it's not a lot. And the reason I believe this helps a lot for us surf casters that surf cast for striped bass specifically is because a lot about a lot of what we do is fishing plugs and eels and bait or whatever slowly through the water and that's what makes like having a reel like this really awesome because if i'm fishing an eel i can reel a lot more to maintain tension without pulling my whatever my plug or my eel very far through the water and that is a super super awesome thing because you're able to make more subtle adjustments to your speed if you're reeling than you would with a reel where you have to like be careful because if you move it this far your plug's gonna move like 10 yards and it's like what are we doing here you know if we're not fishing for something like a tuna where you need it to be ripping across the surface of the water uh it is it can be kind of difficult with other reels so there's stuff like that which is more specific to uh like man stall itself uh and then you have other things like 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 little subtle things like not having a bail on a reel like this i know it's a big thing for a lot of people where it's like oh my god it doesn't have a bail how do i fish it i'm not gonna get into it exactly right now but the ability to, to not have a bail on something to number one snap back and you lose plugs number two uh it's another moving part that can break or bend if you fall or uh it gets corroded with salt it's just a very awesome thing that I wish was on every reel now that I fish because it's such a, uh, it's just so, it's fast and it's easy. I know that people are talking about like, oh, if you have a stiff wind in your face, that sometimes a line will get blown off your reel. Um, I found that like that, I've never had that happen before. I've fished in windy, windy conditions like 55, 60 mile an hour winds and uh, it's, it's totally been a non-issue for me. I've always found too when people are like frustrated, and I will say this one last thing before, because I'm not, I don't really want to get into this too, too much, but I found when I'm fishing with a van stall, if your line comes loose, I'll just grab this one because I don't have to take off the thing on it. When my line comes loose on this reel, say when I'm fishing and I have line that just falls out like this, it's still going to be attached to your rod or in your, your plug or whatever you're fishing with. All I do is I lift the top of my rod up and that's going to pull a little more line out, at least enough that I can catch it on my finger and then reel it back into the line roller. So I hope that makes sense to you guys because uh, it's, it's kind of something that not a lot of people, I've ever, I actually don't know if I've ever heard anybody else talk about this, where when you have your rod and you cast out your plug and the line goes slack on your rod like this, all I do is I lift the top of the rod out, which is going to force your line around a little bit more because of the tension of your plug or your bait or whatever in the water. I'm going to lift the top of my rod up. It's going to at least pull around one, like one length more of line that I can catch onto my finger. And it's going to give you an extra shot to put it onto your line roller, which uh, I know for a lot of people that has been an issue for a lot of people as far as like, oh, I keep losing my line when it comes to fishing bailless van stall. So I hope that makes a little sense for you guys. Uh, and we'll just to recap what I was talking about before van stalls are extremely durable reels that are built for people that are hardcore surf casting. If you're surf casting for tarpon or redfish or snook, something like that in Florida, it's going to work just as well for you. If you're fishing, you know, in the very salty conditions with waves hitting your reel, uh, if you're surf casting, especially in your fishing more than uh, a few days a week, if you're fishing more than one day a week, then it's definitely a reel that I'd highly, highly suggest. Otherwise, you have reels that are like the pen battles that are fantastic reel. They're sealed enough that they'll last you a whole season if you're only fishing maybe once a week or once every few weeks, because those reels will definitely hold up to mild dunking 
in the water and will be fine for most people throughout the season. But when we're talking about somebody that's going to be fishing it hardcore, you know, in the surf, in the sand, falling on rocks with it, uh, you know, fighting, you know, some decently sized fish on it, it's going to hold up on your, on your gear, whether you're catching a 200 pound tarpon on it or a 10 pound striped bass on it, uh, it's going to hold up to like the abuse of those fish. The gears will all hold up. The drag will all hold up where if you had salt and corrosion in something like a pen reel and you're fishing a ton of nights in a row or a ton of days in a row, it's gonna really make it, well, there's a good chance that your drag is gonna slip or your drag is gonna seize up and you're gonna have issues. So what I'm saying is if you are a guy that's gonna fish hardcore surf casting, I would 100% say get a man saw. You will never regret getting a man saw when it comes to the durability of the reel. Uh, it's and it's just one of those things that just really holds up to the elements and uh, yeah I think that I pretty much covered what I wanted to cover today uh, on these reels I I didn't want to go like too crazy on like saying like in being like elitist to like surf casting for striped bass versus like surf casting for other species I just think that like what we do here is probably the most is obviously what they're built for but also like some of the most difficult, uh, like hard testing, like on your gear is going to be tested the most. And, uh, that's going to be what, uh, a, a lot of people are buying van stalls for. Um, and I wanted to put out people that are looking from where I'm at in doing what I do. Like this is, this reel has like a lot of mystique around it because it's so expensive and every like elite surf caster has one and it's this thing that like almost is a status symbol that, that you need one you don't need one but if you're going to be fishing a lot of nights in the road there's a reason why van stall is van stall and it is highly highly recommended by a lot of surf casters out there anyway including me i highly recommend this reel if you fish a lot so anyway i hope i didn't kind of repeat myself too too much in this video i feel like i kind of did but i hope i didn't repeat myself too much and it gives you like a point of view of somebody who really fishes hard and has more in more of like a layman's terms to it. Like I fish really hard. This holds up to what I fish and how I fish. And that's really what I wanted to get across in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe. I have a ton more content of actual fishing coming and uh, more videos like this. So thank you guys. And I'll see you next time.